Hey guys, this is Rupali. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In our last video, we learned how to install Java and Eclipse to a system. In case you haven't watched it yet, go and watch it. The link is in the description box below. So, today we will learn how to write our first Java program without any IDE. So, let's get started. For that, we'll open Notepad. Okay. Now, here, we will have to write some code. And I will tell you the meaning of each and every code here. So, firstly, we have to create a class. And the syntax to create a Java class is public class and class name. Here, public and class are the keywords. Now, I have a different video on keywords and um, access specifiers. So, you can go and watch that. The class name is uh, whatever you want to give the name to your class so for now i will write um my first java program and then we have to start an end of curly brace okay now we have created our class this is our class name after that we have to create the main method for that we will write public static void main string argument. You have to write it as it is public static void main. You cannot change anything here. Each and every word here has a special meaning because all of these are keywords. And this is the main method which we are creating. String is the type of a data type and argument is the name of the array that we are creating. So if you want, we can change this. Instead of ARGS, we can write um, A or ABC, whatever. Then inside the main method, you have to write your code that you want to execute. So since this is our first program, we will write a simple line of code. System store out dot print ln. Now whatever we will write here uh, inside the system dot out dot print ln, it will print on your screen. So let's write first java program now don't forget to put the semicolon after that this is the syntax if you don't put it it will give you a syntax error now i will save this file one more thing that you have to remember here is the file name should be same as the name of your class which is public so this class of ours is public right so our class name should be exactly my first java program as it is there should not be any changes so i will save it on desktop itself the our class name and then extension dot java dot java extension is given so that the compiler can recognize it as a java file now i will save it so our program got created now i will go to the command prompt okay then i will go to the desktop where i have saved this file if you have saved it to the documents go to the document thing for that you have to type cd cd is for change directory so cd then desktop so it will add my desktop here after this we have to compile our java program first before executing it so the syntax to compile it is java c space file name which is my first java program dot java don't forget to give its extension here while compiling press enter now since it has not given us any error that means our java program is successfully compiled now we will execute it so the code to execute it is java file name that's it you don't have to put your extension here and then press enter now you can see here 
that the sentence that we wrote there got printed because the system dot out dot print ln is to print a line so our this thing got printed here now here few things to keep in mind first thing is in your java source file you can have multiple classes this was the first class that we created we can create more classes like i can create class um my second class and curly braces then i can give some code over here and then uh, in that way i can create multiple classes in the same source file java source file but one thing to keep in mind is only one of the class can be public and you have to save the name of your notepad file with the name of the class which is public if i save this file with the name my second class it won't work okay so this is a very important point the second thing that you have to keep in mind is whenever we compile a file okay this time when we compiled it here when we type java c command what happened was i will show you we will go to the desktop okay where is my desktop hmm. here you can see i have this two files over here one is with the extension of dot java and dot class so whenever you compile your java program it creates an another file which is the byte code so this byte code has the extension of dot class and because of this class file only java is such a portable language that you can run the program in every machine this class file and this byte file is responsible for its portability that's it guys see you in the next program if you like my video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section below if you like my video or if you have any suggestions for me thank you